Picture this, the hustle of academic life coupled with the challenge of a part-time job. It's a common scene for international students the world over. But in Canada, the game is changing. Starting from September, international students in Canada will be allowed to work off campus for up to 24 hours per week, a significant leap from the previous 20-hour limit. The recent announcement by Immigration Minister Mark Miller marks a turning point in the Canadian study work balance, a shift that promises to ripple through the student community. This change, it seems, is an echo of the temporary waiver of the 20-hour work limit we saw during the COVID-19 pandemic. The new rule aims to align Canada's regulations with those of other countries and prevent the program from attracting applicants primarily seeking work opportunities. Yet, the decision has not come without its share of criticism. Concerns have been raised that allowing full-time work could undermine the study permit's purpose. However, the government's choice to set the work limit at 24 hours per week is a calculated move, designed to strike a balance between what is reasonable and what will accommodate students' financial needs. Now, it's important to note that the government plans to revert to a 20-hour limit until the permanent change to 24 hours can be implemented in September. But don't fret. There will be no restrictions on work hours for international students during non-enrollment periods. This decision, it seems, has been crafted with careful consideration. Feedback from officials and students alike has been taken into account, with a distinct emphasis on balancing work and study commitments. In a world where countries like the United States are grappling with immigration reform, Canada's move to increase work hours for international students is a bold step forward. It's a step that acknowledges the financial needs of students, while also ensuring their academic pursuits are not compromised. So, to sum up, Canada is set to increase the work limit for international students to 24 hours per week come September. It's a move that promises to reshape the study work balance and potentially attract more students to the country. But it's also a move that reinforces the importance of maintaining the integrity of the study permit program. Only time will tell what the full impact of this change will be. But one thing is for sure. The Canadian study work landscape is evolving and international students are at the heart of this transformation.